Welcome back to the channel and today's we are talking on some important network properties like understand the difference between broadcast domain and collision domain and how to solve the collision domain and discuss some important techniques like CIS MACD versus CIS MACA and also we'll talk about different transmission methods like unicost, multicost and broadcast messages. Early network infrastructure, all networking devices are connected through a cable with the T connector. And one device can send data at a time and others are waiting. As well as if one device cable disconnected from the network infrastructure, the network infrastructure will be down and no device will be able to send and receive data. And I know that you better understand it was a best apology. Thereafter, the networking technology have been upgraded and hub devices are introduced as a main point connection for connecting all the endpoints like computers, printers, scanners and other networking devices. This device is working as a repeater. It means when it receives data, it will forward out all port except the port it has received the data. And it is the same as a bus topology, but with one difference. It is true that one device can send data at a time, but if one device disconnected from the network, the network will be not failed, and other devices are able to send and receive data. In this networking area, all connected devices are in one broadcast domain. What is broadcast domain? Broadcast domain, for example, if computer A would like to send a broadcast message to computer B, all connected devices on the network will receive that message. So I mean if broadcast message has been received by any devices on the network, that area is called a broadcast domain. And if we are using hub device for connecting network devices so it means we are in one broadcast domain and i'm sure you understand better about the broadcast domain so let's see what is collision domain in simple words the collision domain means that only one computer on the network will be able to send data and other devices are waiting but what happens if two computers would like to send data at the exact same time <laughs> I know you better understand that if both pieces send data at the exact same time, so the collision will happen and the data will crash over the network. For protecting the collision on the network, the first method was CIS MHCD or Carrierson's Multiple Access Collision Detection. By using CIS MHCD, it means it's only detecting the collision over the network. It means if it's happened, it will send message to all network devices to stop sending data till the network is free. A CIS MACD didn't solve network problem and we require to avoid collision before it's happened. So the second technology has been introduced as a CIS MACA or carrier sense multiple access collision avoidance. By using this technology, every connected devices on the network will send a tiny piece of message to check the network is free or there is no computer on the network sending data. Thereafter, the PC start sending or transferring the data. <laughs> but keep in mind that none of this technology are used in today's network infrastructure because we are using layer 2 switches instead of hub device which are more intelligent and have more benefits over the hub device. Before closing this chapter, so let's know what is broadcast, multicast and unicast messages. Broadcast message means if one computer send message to be rich all over connected devices on the network. Multicast message means if one device or computer send message to multiple computers on the same network. And unicost means if one computer would like to send message to another computer on the same network. Thank you so much for being with me till now. And if you found this video helpful, 
don't forget the like subscribe and hit the bell button for supporting me to create and prepare more networking videos